Hello again, it's Katie here with the tip of the week. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the rice method, which a few of you may have heard before. Um, the actual new way of calling it is the price method, and we'll talk about the difference. Um, so what is the rice method? The rice method is uh, right after injury, rest, the R, I for ice, C for compression, E for elevation. The updated version has added a P to make it price, which I'm all a fan of good acronyms like that. Um, and the P is to protect, which seems pretty obvious, but uh, if you uh, have an ankle sprain, what's our P for protecting? We will do um, crutches, you know, an air cast or boot, uh, splint, anything of that to keep the area safe and to keep you from walking on it if it's severe enough. The rest part is important for every type of injury. Concussions, ankle sprains, shoulder issues, sometimes rest is best. You know, um, you got to take the time and let everything heal itself. But we'll keep you doing something, so don't worry about it. Um, ice. Ice is important for pain. Ice isn't going to help necessarily with decreasing swelling, but it's going to help a lot when you're, you know, having a 6 out of 10 to 8 out of 10 pain, and you just need to try to calm um, how you're feeling down. The compression and the elevation are really what helps with our swelling. So raising that limb above your heart helps try to bring that drainage back through and um, get some of that swelling down and out in a quicker process than if you just sit here in a chair for you know four hours in class then it's going to pull up and you're going to have more swelling to deal with so that's the price rice method and uh, that's what we like to stick to with acute injuries